Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi there, Sarah Surrett here with Get Positive, and I'm here to talk about how to pick out the perfect pet for you. And I'm going to give you, there's so much we could talk about, to, but today I'm just gonna give you five simple tips to get you started through that pet picking process. And the first tip is figure out what you want. Choose a pet. There are so many different types of pets out there for you to choose. And the question is, what might be the best pet for you? There are reptiles, there are birds, fish, dogs, cats, exotic pets. There are even pocket pets, such as guinea pigs, hamster, and mice. So you first wanna think about writing down maybe the top types of pets that might be a good fit for you. Okay, the second tip is commit. You need to decide and commit to putting time in for your new pet. Not sure you wanna commit a ton of time? Then maybe a new puppy is not the pet for you. You want something simple with low maintenance? Perhaps a fish would be best, but we will get into what those particular pets all entail in another video. But today, the first step is pick your pet, then commit and decide how much time you are going to give. Understand that pets can live from just a couple years, three years, for example, lives uh, a guinea pig lives, all the way up to 80, possibly 80 years. Parents live to 80 years. So you really wanna think about how long you are committing to owning this pet. The third tip is match. What is the pet that's going to match your lifestyle? You wanna match your pet's lifestyle and, and what they do to what you do in your life. So ask yourself, why do you want a pet? What do you wanna do with your pet? And what's your day-to-day -day routine look like? How much of that do you want your dog or cat or or guinea pig or snake to be a part of that. So take a look at what you envision. Why is it that you want a pet in the first place? And what do you hope to do with your pet? Why is it important to you ha to have a pet? So really thinking about the matching of that, the pet's lifestyle to your lifestyle is going to be really, really important. The fourth tip is to plan accordingly. Pets cost money. Not only do they cost time and energy, but they cost money. There's money for feeding, for upkeep, for vet bills. There's money for training, depending on what type of pet you get. So I want you to really consider the cost involved and how much planning ahead of time so you're prepared to have that readily available or plan monthly the expenditures that are gonna come with owning a particular pet. And number five, last but not least, is find your pet. You wanna start to reach out once you figure out the best match for you and what you're thinking about. You wanna reach out to your friends, to your family. You wanna reach out to your vet, maybe any local rescue groups or shelters, maybe reputable breeders, depending on what kind of pet you're looking to get so that you can find the best pet for you. Again, there are so many different things that we can talk about. So the next video will be all about looking deeper into some of these popular pet choices and learning a little bit more about each one. So hope to see you there. I hope this was helpful and happy learning about your new pet. Take care. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.